What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. This video, I'm going to be talking about the challenge Dirty 30, episode number 3. Camilla kind of blew up her game last week. Let's start there. Low key upset people that she's been playing with her entire challenge career over douchebag Corey. Why? I don't know. I get what she's saying. The numbers are still there. I didn't have to say his name for him to get voted in or whatever the case, but it's like, no. At the same time though, Camilla, it shows where your loyalty lies to the whole house. Because instead of voting with your alliance, you voted with like, I don't know, the whole man of the house. Like he's slept with four girls that are in the house right now. I don't understand. Corey dogs out whatever female he's talking to every season that he's on. Every, it's like he doesn't, it doesn't matter, like he has no chill. He doesn't care. So if you watch back the seasons that you were on with him and the seasons that he was on with other females, you just kind of see how he operates. So I don't understand why she would throw her loyalty that way, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Good thing she's a competitor. If she gets thrown in, she'll probably come back. It'll be okay. The mysterious elimination picking has been revealed. They have to pull up this thing with the X's on it, if there's two X's on it, then that person wins and they get to decide which other loser goes into the elimination with Brianna and Court. Dario won, put in Derek. Corey beast moded through the competition and Derek goes home. Veronica put in Brittany. Brittany beast moded through that competition and Brianna went home. Now I'm sad, I feel bad that Brianna went home because I feel like she hasn't got a fair chance to play this game. Rivals three, she left because Brandon sucked. And then this season she came late because Ashley quit. And so they're like, oh, she's got something to prove. Well. She's not gonna be able to prove it if nobody ever gives her a chance, but I guess if she can't escape an elimination, then that's proof enough. I don't know, I just feel bad. I like Brianna, she makes me giggle. And I was hoping that she was gonna stay around a little bit longer. So the fact that she didn't shed a tear for her. Let's talk about what I can't deal with. Something I can't deal with, Ammo's Rainbow Fish shirt. Let me see if I can find it. You can put it up, it'll be the funniest thing ever. Justice, he has a freaking, crop top that looks like rainbow fish. <laughs> it's pulling up like actual ammo, like bullets. God love it. I can't find it. Like look at even in his cast member photo justice. Why justice? Why what why? This is cast photo. Is he gay? Yeah. Yeah obviously. He wears like makeup and all but he has like he'll be in the diary room and he has a blue crop top and it looks like rainbow fish. Remember that book, Rainbow Fish? Y'all remember Rainbow Fish? Justice. Rainbow Fish, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. I remember one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. It's Dr. Seuss, just good, we're, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's Rainbow Fish. I do remember that fish. It, he got a crop top, it looks like Rainbow Fish. It's not all colorful, but it has like little, um, yeah, it's a crop top with blue scales and it's shiny. I don't know. Okay. I can't deal with the rainbow fish crop top, y'all. I can't. I can't deal with it. Like, I get, okay. I, uh, I, 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 I disagree with his lifestyle, right? But that doesn't make him a bad person. Doesn't, you know, I just. I disagree. I, I struggle. I struggle. I struggle to understand. Like you're 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 a boy. Like you wear boy things. <laughs> I just I can't. The sequence. The, yeah. The. The rainbow fish crop top drives me crazy. I can't deal with his crop top. So he has a choker that says lady on it. Like you're not a lady, Ammo. You're not, like I'm sorry. You're just, you're, you're not a lady. And I, anyway, we can move on. The actual challenge this episode, I thought was really, really cool. And I was sad that my husband, um, he's, he was working and he couldn't watch it with me because we love these, these type of like ones where it's just like, Oh, head to head, like those type of eliminations and challenges are just the best. The whole hallway thing was epic. So dope, got team captains, teams of 10. Wait a minute, there's 22 of us, how does that work? Oh, two people are gonna be left out. Cool, so we did schoolyard pick style, going back and forth, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Kayla, oh sweet Kayla. Kayla decided that she was gonna pick people that are agile. For the, for the competition where you literally have to 
body people to get past them in a tiny space, we're gonna pick agile people. Now because she's a female, she had to pick a male first, and everybody's really confused as to why she didn't pick CT, <laughs> so whatever. She picked all the scrawny guys, with the exception of bananas. And then Dario went straight. He picked all the beast mode girls that he could, and all the biggest guys, and obviously that worked out for him. And his team won. I was shocker. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking. Now, with the way they're doing these episodes and things like that, the elimination like stays this crazy mystery. So now again, we have to wait for voting to take place to find out what happened for the next elimination. But there's so many people, it's hard to predict what's gonna go on. I'm just excited to see it. My votes are still the same. I'm still rooting for the same people. I guess Derek and Tori aren't gonna have that baby. <laughs> I did, let's talk about this real quick though. I did think it was interesting that he felt the need to make a comment or they felt the need to share the fact that he made a comment about what he would do and how he would feel if anybody else tried to flirt with Tori. Why? Like why would you, why would you guys throw that in there? Nothing's happened. There's been no situation, so that low-key makes me feel like something's coming. Especially with the Redemption House and the fact that he could pop back up and we just don't know how that's gonna work yet. I sense some scandalous behavior. We're gonna see. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.